So hi everybody, just want to give you a quick update on the Starlink. Uh, as you can see, still got some ice on there. But I think with this uh, sunny day, it's about minus 10, but the sun uh, is really shining. I think it's going to help melt it off. The dish has moved around and it does move around from time to time. So uh, the ice hasn't affected the ability of the dish to move. Uh, the other thing I wanted to let you know is I did talk to Starlink support and I talked to them about my cell and uh, they're fully aware uh, because I, I, I uh, communicated to them that we're using the Starlink 15 kilometers away from where it is assigned in town and it's working here. We'd like to keep it here. Can we change our uh, address, service address uh, for the Starlink? And they said they don't recommend it at this time because if we were to do that, uh, the current cell that we're in and where we want it isn't really open yet. So they've indicated to me I'm actually outside of the cell. Uh, this is a different cell than the one I'm actually assigned to, which as you know is 15 kilometers away. And I mentioned that in a previous video. So they said just keep it. Uh, if we were to change the address, it's probably going to stop working. And then I have to go back in the queue to wait until this cell opens. They said, uh, is, if it's working, it's good because you, you might, you're likely not that far off the cusp of the other cell. Uh, keep using it. Keep, keep, uh, keep it. Keep it where it is. Keep using it. In the next couple of months, this cell will probably open up, they said. And, uh, you know, when that does, we'll change the service address for you. And they told me I'm going to experience probably better uh, service, better uh, speeds, both upload and download when uh, this actual cell opens up. So I'm outside of the cell, I'm 15 kilometers away from where the service address actually is for this Starlink and uh, it's working. So uh, I don't know how far out of the cell I am, but uh, I am out of the cell. So just want to give, give you an update on that, some additional information. Uh, while I'm here, I'll go inside and I'll do uh, another speed test or a few and I'll include those in the video here just as another update. Again, remember I'm outside of the cell, but I've got service and uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks this particular cell will open up and uh, the service will get even better. Also, some people are mentioning, well, you've probably got interference because of those Yagi uh, antennas there. Uh, just to note, they're not plugged into anything, so there's no not going to be any interference. Um, I'm not going to take those down yet because I haven't canceled my Rogers mobile hub service. And I'm just keeping that as a backup uh, just for the time being. But when, uh, you know, hopefully when this new cell opens up for this location and the speeds are even better, then I'll uh, eventually cancel off that Rogers service. Okay, everybody, take care. Uh, stick around. I'll do a couple speed tests and put those into the video as well. Have, uh, have a great day, everybody. Uh, while the uh, couple of speed tests I run here play, I just want to say a couple of things. Number one, anytime I run a, uh, a speed test from speedtest.net uh, application on my phone, the selected server seems to change around. So as you can see, it's selecting a server in New York right now. Sometimes it'll select a server in Quebec. Sometimes it'll select a server in Ottawa. Uh, I've checked my IP address from the Starlink and it's a Montreal uh, based location IP. So I tried actually changing, uh, manually changing the server to Bracebridge Lakeland Networks, which is like 10 kilometers away here, and I actually got a slower speed test. It's saying that the location is like 345 kilometers away. So I just want to give you the information. I know some people are asking about changing the uh, location of the server for speed test. I uh, just wanted to make a note of, kind of what I'm seeing and what I'm experiencing.